it's Thursday, July 9th. Glad that you could be with us. Thanks for just taking a few minutes out of your day to, to stay caught up. I uh, just want to say thank you first and foremost. Uh, for this week, we have been collecting items to be able to give to students who are aging out of the foster care system and be moving out on their own. Something we've been doing for several years uh, that is well received by uh, the Children's Aid Society. And we get to just uh, write a little note and just to communicate our prayer for them. And so thank you so much for those of you who have stopped by. It's been great to see a few people as they've stopped by with donations over the course of this week. And so let's uh, continue to pray as we assemble these things over the next few days and then uh, get them to where they need to go. Pray for the individuals that they will be, uh, that those, get, those guests will be going to, would you? And the second thing is we want to celebrate. Uh, we want to celebrate with uh, Kara and Mitch Van Reenen. On uh, just a couple of days ago, on July 7th, they uh, saw their brand new son, Caleb Mitchell Van Reenen, was born. And uh, all is well at the Van Reenen home, and uh, we are we are excited for them. Just pray for them as as they uh, find a new rhythm. Uh, with this expanded family, Joel is a big sister. That's pretty exciting as well. So your continued prayer for them would be great. And then look for ways uh, in your e-bulletin tomorrow that we can be of a blessing to them uh, over this next little while. So look for an opportunity to serve one another there. Thirdly, I want to remind you that this coming Sunday, uh, we will be having a communion service live on our Facebook page. So after our uh, regular uh, Sunday videos of Kid Jam and the music and then the message, I'll come back on uh, on Facebook Live and we will share in uh, some communion together. So make sure to set aside some time. Uh, 11.30 will probably take about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, get something, uh, the elements, uh, some bread and some juice and have those ready as we uh, unify in our commitment to serve the Lord Jesus Christ wherever we are. Fourthly, I want to bring you a reminder that coming up on Sunday, July 19th, so not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, we are going to be hosting another food drive here at the SEMC. And as we kind of move into summer, I know there's opportunity for us to start traveling a little bit. And so thankful for that. But please remember that there are those who can't. In fact, uh, they maybe have not been able to for a long time. And uh, we're struggling to make ends meet during these times. And we have the chance to, uh, to supply the needs of some local agencies as they help real people in real need. So that's coming up Sunday, July 19th, between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Fifth thing I want to bring to your attention is uh, Adventure Bible Camp. We've got information coming for that, and you're going to be inundated with that. And here's the thing about it. As we, as we kind of move outward uh, with ABC this year with a virtual format that you can do over the course of three weeks, one day for three weeks, Coming up in August, you have the capacity to invite others, uh, other children, uh, one, a couple of other children to your home, or you have the ability to uh, share what we're going to be sending you with others so that they can also participate. It's another way we get to share the life, the truth, the love of Jesus Christ with those around us. That's exciting. That's something to be praying about. And so uh, look for more information coming your way over the next little while. In fact, you can already register. If you go to our uh, our webpage, sarniaemc.org, there's also, and you'll see some information coming on our on our Facebook page and our Instagram page. And so you can share those uh, as well. If you share the information about the food drive, or share information about Adventure Bible Camp, and you help communicate the ways in which God is using us to make a difference in our community. One more thing, where, I, where I'm standing is kind of right where we've been having our, we will be having our Wednesday morning coffee breaks. So there'll be the opportunity for you to join us. Uh, we started this past Wednesday. We'll be doing that on Wednesdays throughout the summer. And so you can register by emailing or calling the church office. 
to let us know that you'd like to be present with us at our coffee break from 10.15 to 11 a.m. every Wednesday morning. And uh, you just bring a lawn chair, you bring your drink, uh, and we're going to sit out here. We need, we need a maximum of nine other people other than myself. And uh, we'll keep a physical distance, but it was really good to connect with a few people this week. I'm looking forward to doing the same uh, next week. So um, keep that in mind also. This morning we had the opportunity to have a staff meeting virtually still, but it was really good to be together. And I have a greeting here uh, from our from our staff to all of you. Thank you so much for your prayer for us, your encouragement uh, to us, and uh, your support of uh, said, so here's a little message from us. All right, we hope you're well, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for tuning in to Kid Jam. Keep watching. We're glad that we get to see you that way. We miss you guys, and we look forward to seeing you in the near future. Hope you're all doing well, enjoying our lovely warm summer. Keep under the shade and keep cool. Hey, greetings from the office. There's someone actually in here, and I uh, hope you guys are great. We miss you. Have a good summer. And that's our team, and uh, we've been trying to meet uh, via Zoom every two or three weeks or so throughout the course of these last four months. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. We, we miss, miss you. you. Appreciate your prayer, your support. Uh, the way in which you're sharing what God is doing with us. So keep well, wash your hands, and let's keep making a kingdom difference.